All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. That's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, and in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Shalakia. I also want to say uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and priests of mercy to the hopeful late. Preaching his word and truth and sincerity on the brother Tazaba in the, in, in the GMS Arizona camp. Low well with another video to edify. And I want to go into this grafting in. I was in this, I was in a book of Jeremiah preset popped up and it uh, basically sparked this whole lesson because ultimately this is what Christians don't understand is grafting in didn't mean that he took in everybody. When you go into a family, right? Give me one second. When you go into a family, right? Doesn't matter, right? What part of that family you're a part of, right? But you're part of that family. Now, when you go into olives, olives belong to a family, just like stone fruits belong to uh, the family of stone fruits, apples, peaches, all that, right? Those are stone fruits. Olives belong to their own family. So when you look right here, it says, um, Olacea, also known as the olive family, is a uh, taxonomic, taxonomic family of flowering shrubs, trees, and a few uh, lineans in order in the order of lame uh, lamioles. All these uh, Greek words, lemuels. It, it presents. It, it pre presently comprises of twenty eight genres. Uh, one of which is recently extinct. The ex extent uh, genre, the extinct genre included uh, Cartrima, which is re which was restructured in twenty twelve. So which was resurrected Salakia in 2012. So they belong to a family, right? Olives belong to a family, right? So when you go, let's get back into it. When you go into the scriptures and it starts talking about with the grafting in, we'll get that, we'll get into this. Let's, Romans 11 and... And 15, it says, For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall be the receiving of them? Uh, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For if the first, fruit, first fruits be holy, uh, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Right? So we're talking about a holy bloodline from the root to the branches. Right. So when these branches were broken off, right. Because when you're talking about that holy bloodline, the scriptures talk about what um, this is. Uh, let me find the scripture. I know I had it just up again a minute ago, man. Let me just put it in here. Isaiah 61 and we'll go to one. And we'll go back to that Romans. It says, uh, going back to that, if the root be holy, so are the branches holy, right? Um, Isaiah 61 and one, it says, the spirit of the most high, the spirit of Yahweh power is upon me because Yahweh hath anointed me to preach good tidings until the make he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. In the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh and the day of his vengeance and the day of the vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn, to point unto them that that mourn in Zion, to give them the beauty, to give unto them beauty for ashes 
and the oil of joy for mourning and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of Yahweh that he might be glorified right so there's a tree of righteousness which comprises of what the ones that were given this oil for joy those in Zion not everybody so the trees of righteousness right let's go back to that that right that uh the root is holy right going into the beginning to the end there's a righteous people that the lord has in earth so this is romans 11 and 17 uh let's get 16 again it says for if the first fruits be holy the lump is also holy talking about israel right if the righteousness came through what that righteous bloodline well, that you could read in Matthew's the first chapter. Going from Adam, right? Abraham, uh, I, Adam. You had Noah, Abraham, right? Isaac, Jacob, right? Yahushai, all that holy line, the 12 patriarchs. That is that lump that was holy. So, right? If the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches, meaning the nation. So even Jake that's going off, they're more righteous than anything because what? They come from that righteous bloodline. They're just going off right now, right? Verse 17, and if some of the branches be broken off, going into the grafting, right? When you go into grafting, you can only take of the same family of that certain uh, genus of plant. Right? To be able to graft it in. It won't graft it into something that it was never a part of. It says, and if some of the branches be broken off and thou be in a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, right? You are still an olive tree, right? The scriptures talk about the cedars of Lebanon and contrives men unto trees, right? So there's different genuses, different families of trees that are people out there that don't belong to that wild olive tree that aren't part of it. And the reason why they're considered wild is because what Jake consistently went off. Right. The scripture said they were, they were asked that that was used to snuffing up the wind. Let's see if I can find that. Yeah, this is Jeremiah two and 24. A wild ass used to the wilderness. Let me let me just go to it. Let me. Um, this is um Jeremiah 24 and 23. How how canst thou say I am not polluted? I have I have not gone after Balaam. See see thy way in the valley. Know that thou hast done. Know know what thou hast done. That thou art a swift dormitory, traversing in her ways. A wild ass used to the wilderness. This is why they were wild. wild asses because they were used to what? Just being out, being casted out to the Lord. Just like now, niggas are used to this, right? They look at this death culture as being a way of life, right? The things that they know are fucked up. They, they, they count as this is just the course of life. This is how it's always going to be. A wild ass used to the wilderness that snuffled up the wind at her pleasure in her occasion who can turn her away. All they that seek her will not weary themselves in her month. They shall find her. Right. So that's that. This is that that comparison to that wild olive tree. Right. Jake that have been casted out to the winds scattered through the persecutions. Right? Always beaten down by our enemies. Right? You're that wild olive tree that now at the end of days where the Lord is waking up his people where he said what? We will remember ourselves. This is that time where those wild olive trees, the ones that you never thought would be coming into this thing are, are being woken up by the Heavenly Father. It says, but if some of the branches be broken off and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them and with them 
uh, partakes of the root and the fatness of the olive tree, right? And this is what happens when you come into this thing. Now you, now you partake in the root. Now you get back into Yahweh Shai, the basis of righteousness, right? Now you get back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Now you're being put in, and you're given that fatness, which is what the nourishment that comes from the scriptures, the way of life. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. And this is this is what happens with Jake now. Right? They boast because they don't bear the root. The root bears them. They 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 believe it's just about being Israelites. Right? You're an Israel, I'm an Israelite, let's agree. No contention. But no, you you're gonna have to sit here and change your ways. Will thou say to the brent will thou say then uh the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in? Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. And this is the reason uh, uh, that that we were broken off. Because what? How were you broken off? Through that unbelief, through that co constantly going left, when the Lord had a different way for you to go. This is uh, Jeremiah 11. And fifteen it says, What have my beloved to do in my house? Seeing she had wrote lewdness with many, and in the holy flesh is passed from thee. Right? When thou doest evil, then thou rejoices. And this is what Jake does as a whole. Right? As an adulterous woman, this is what adulterous women do. You see it all the time now. Right? And this is how Jake did in the spirit because what? You went here and there throughout the heathen, learned their ways, picked up their shit, worshipped in secret, those wicked false idols, and then you came to the Heavenly Father just to save face. It says, verse 16, Yahweh called thy name a green olive tree, right? Fair and of goodly fruit, that the noise of uh, it says with a with the noise of a great tumult hath he kindled fire upon thee upon it, and the branches of it are broken, right? So through what the Lord constantly throwing that hell on us, those branches were broken off. This is why when you go into the Book of Maccabees, what they made it illegal and punishable by death for you to call yourself an Israelite, for you to worship the Lord, for you to do those things that were necessary. According to what? The law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. So what? You were broken off through fear, through the hell, through the fire that the Lord put you under, which was all part of the prophecy. It says, For Yahweh of hosts that planted thee, he had pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which he had uh, done against himself, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal. And this is why those branches are broken off. And that unbelief came, right? That unbelief <laughs> was there because what? The constant breaking off. The constant hell of the Lord was putting Jake under to the point where what? Now the heathen were given full reign to just do to us as they wanted. But what? To the remnant that will return now the nations are being brought back this is uh james 3 i don't want to make this too long i want to hit these precepts james 3 and uh 12 it says can a fig tree my, uh my brethren bear olive berries right so this is two different plants right the fig book the fig tree belongs to an entire different family so it says, can a fig tree bear olive berries? No, it can't. It's not part of the same family. So the grafting in is all dealing with the Israelites. When it's talking about the wild olive, right? It's talking about those branches that were already part of the family that got broken off, right? Either, it says, either uh, a vine figs. So can no fountain both yield salt, water, and fresh, right? You can't, you can't mix this. 
right? You're not going to mix Israel with any other people. The Lord isn't going to bring in other people that weren't part of the promise. That's just, that's just how it goes. This is Romans 9 and 26. It says, And it shall come to pass that in, in, in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. And this is that difference. Can a fig bear olive trees? Can a fig tree bear olive branches? No. Can it bear olives? No. Right? Because what? The Lord broke us off. But what? Now those broken branches of those Israelites that he told them, you are not my people, but it shall be said that they are the children of the living power. We're being grafted back in to that root, which is through what you was shy, man. This is um, Revelation 11, 14. We got two more and I'm going to close this out. Revelation, or this last one, I'll close it out. Revelation 11 and 4. I started three, it says, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, talk about the northern and the southern kingdom, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth, it says these are the two olive trees, right? We got that already. Who those olive trees, the wild olive, right? Being grafted back in those two olive trees. This is just the northern and southern kingdom. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before, uh, before the most, uh, standing before the most high of the earth, right? And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their, devoured their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must uh, in this manner be killed. So this is that significance of the olive tree, man. It's, it's the Israel only. Nobody else. Nobody else. Right? The grafting in, the bringing back on. Right? The trees of righteousness. Right? The Lord said it over and over again that that is all referring back to Israel. You cannot insert, in, insert yourself if you're not of that family. You know? So, Lord willing, this is that if I'm going to say, call all y'all, Bashimi Ashai, Bashimi Kokoda Shalom.